What's up guys? In this video I just kind of wanted to show off my new albino channel catfish. I just picked him up at a local pet store for about $40 and he's close to 7 inches right now but he's going to get a lot bigger very fast. These catfish can grow very quickly and when he outgrows his tank I'll probably move him to my koi pond outside. These fish are very compatible with koi and they'll get along just fine. I, I really wanted to get this because in my local area in the New England area we have the normal channel catfish so I thought it was pretty cool to have the albino version of the catfish that I'm used to catching when I go fishing and I don't know how well you guys can see it but he does have the trademark red eyes of an albino animal too they're kind of like a reddish pinkish color and for those of you who haven't heard of the term albino or the disorder known as albinism it's basically a disorder that can be hereditarily passed down and it stops your body from producing melanin. All animals and humans can get this disorder and without the ability to produce melanin you're left with all white skin and red eyes because your body can't produce those pigments. And in humans it can cause a lot of sunburns and it can it can cause some some effects to humans but with animals you don't really see as many effects. The big problem with albino animals and the reason that a lot of them don't survive is because they're not able to camouflage so it's a lot easier for a predator to pick off an animal that's completely white as opposed to one that can camouflage itself with its surroundings. And because the albino disorder is hereditary you can breed albino animals. That's what I find really cool about these albino animals is that if you say breed to albinos you'll have a very high chance of getting some albino offspring and if you breed an albino with a non-albino you'll still have a good chance and I'm not going to go into the percentages because that's a whole nother thing with punnett squares but I do think that's interesting and when this catfish gets big enough I might throw it in if I can identify its sex with a normal channel catfish of the opposite sex and see if I can get some offspring. I'm not sure yet because that might be a bit difficult. I would have to do that in a pond. But I just really wanted to show off this fish because I think it's pretty cool and I am going to try to do some more fish videos for you guys. And those videos will be both aquarium fish and outdoor fishing videos. I am going to do some GoPro videos of me going bass fishing and saltwater fishing. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.